Rust here for AccuCut Craft and I'm really excited to show you. I This is the bride and groom box and never really showed you how to put them together before but I thought it'd be a great little tutorial just really quick on how to put these together and they're really super fun and easy and I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to do the bride first because she always comes first and I'm just going to quick fold along the um, the score lines that when you obviously cut the box those are already there so we're just going to quick do that right now and along those. okay so once you have those you can see there's um, those little slits right there and those just connect So at this point in time, this is when you would put your candy or whatever you have to put inside your box. And then this would, um, you'd bring this end up right here, and there's a tiny little slit right there that you place the little, that little kind of little nubby in there. And then this is when um, this box has to have something to, um, uh, and obviously we've designed it to put a ribbon around um, to keep her closed and that is how you seal the box and that's how easy it is um, sometimes I like to other than just do a little piece of ribbon um, I also like to do um, a little flower um, on the front whether it's a little die cut or a little um, already done one and that's how easy that is and those little flaps are just kind of um, you have to kind of make sure it's got a little tightness to it, but that's how the, t the flaps are just tucked right in there. And that's how easy she is um, to put together. So we've got our bride done. Um, the groom, he's a little more complicated, but aren't they all? So let's just put him together real quick. Again, going along and just folding along those crease lines real quick. And I'm using just an 80 pound cardstock, um, but again, you could use a thicker, but um, again, depending on what kind of candy or what you're putting in there. He goes together, again, the exact same way. There's two um, little slits in the box, so you would just um, attach those slits together. And again, this is when you'd want to put that candy in there. And again, he has the two little flaps in him. Um, that that's what's going to close him. Um, at this point in time though you do something a little different because we're going to bend back his little, I guess they're um, his little lapels on, um, on his um, on his suit just like this. Um, he's got to have his shirt. So before we actually assemble him we need to place his shirt in there. So you really don't need a lot of adhesive. You just want to put a little bit here, maybe here and maybe a little up here because once you assemble this it's gonna it's pretty much gonna kinda tuck right in there you're gonna place that shirt right down in there and then when it folds up oh there's his shirt right there and then of course once you've got a shirt you also need to have a little tie in which that also comes right on the die so the shirt and his little tiny bow tie and what I love to do of course I just made a little black bow tie but it's really cute if you um, want to do a groom and a bride to um, do the same color as the ribbon so if I had a little pink tie you could you could do that also so that's also really fun so we'll just put a little tie on him and again he has a little bit he has a little tab that goes right into the um, and that's all you do with him he's super super simple and so now you've got a bride and a groom and it's kind of fun too you could also put a little tiny if you have a little tiny flower on here you could do that also um, so I've seen people bling them up and they put a little jewel um, also put little jewels along the top here um, there's lots of fun things you can do to really um, customize your little bride and groom boxes so have fun with these and they're super easy to create mm -hmm.